Brian Peterson School of Photography weekly critique. Um, I'm Bobby Lane and I teach two classes for BPSOP. I teach Portraits Unplugged, which is working with natural light, and I also teach a posing and directing class. Now even though I am a portrait photographer and teacher, I actually shoot all kinds of things. People, places, things, architecture, landscapes, a little bit of everything. And I've been shooting for over 40 years, so I really, really love photography. And uh, I'm happy to be a part of this critique because I think that critiquing is a very valuable tool uh, for the photographer to learn, to get as much feedback as possible, and to just listen to a variety of opinions. So the first picture that we're going to look at here is called The Tired Donkey, and this is by Nikki DeCourt. I love this picture. I think that this is just so funny and cute, and it just comes across so very, very well. So I'm going to be talking both about lighting, composition, probably a few other things as I, I throw in there too, but let's just start with this. As a, as a portrait photographer, one of the first things that we always look at is what is the direction of light. So in this picture, we have a split lighting pattern. Now that's a dramatic kind of lighting pattern when we're on a, a person, but in this case what it does is that it pops up all the texture and you get that little bit of the edge light that's over here and you get that bright light that's in the eye. So that really helps give you a little bit more feeling about the donkey. Nikki shot this at f2.8, which throws the background way out of focus, which is a very important aspect of this because we don't want to have anything distracting. We want to keep that attention right there on those donkey's eyes. Um, there was, the background was a little bit bright, the sky was a little bright, so Nikki worked on that to bring it down a little bit. There's a little flare from that little kind of back edge side lighting. Um, that doesn't bother me too much. What also works in all this is that the front donkey, or the donkey that's being leaned on, uh, is in the shade, which means that that's a little more subdued so that this donkey really pops right out. Now the other thing I think that really works for me here is that that Nikki had the forethought to crop this as a 4x5. Uh, I think that makes it a lot stronger. It may even work as a square. You know, it'd be very symmetrical, obviously, if it was. But I think overall this is really great. The intent, it's funny. It's the great ears looking right here. Everything in this picture works really well. So Nikki, well done on this picture. Now the next picture we have is called I'm Cute, also by Nikki. And in this picture, Nikki was at the top of the Empire State Building, and um, uh, sorry, and uh, Nikki was at the top of the Empire State Building and looking at this long corridor where there was a big mirror. And he just kind of spent he or she, I'm sorry, I don't know if Nikki is male or female. Um, he or she spent a little bit of time, kind of like watching what was going on because people would stop and pay attention. So he saw this young girl and she stopped and she seemed to be quite enthralled with herself. So when I first looked at this picture, I thought, wow, I really like the idea. But there's, it's a little busy. There's a lot of stuff that's going on back here, but at the same time, it kind of sets the whole backstory as to what's going on. However, the real intent or the essence of what's going on is this relationship with the girl looking at herself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a suggestion that we're going to do a square crop on this, and I'll, I'll show you what I want to do with this. Um, all of this information that's down here, the feet, they don't really contribute, and you see all the bright light that's there? You know, your eye is always attracted to the brightest thing that's in the picture. So when you do that, then you have, your, you get distraction. So I think here, bring in a little bit tighter, probably would have cropped a little more and just taken that right off there. Now you've got a little bit more of the essence of what's going on. So you can see this, it, it's a little more powerful, your attention stays a little bit more here. Um, I, I think that it just makes it overall a stronger picture. And there is some tension in here, so the square also works for that. There is one thing, though, that I think is kind of funny. It appears that this woman is bending over, so that's a little distracting. You might have either waited a few moments or maybe take a step over to the right just a little bit so that the girl's head would have blocked that off. At the very least, go ahead and get rid of, uh, or excuse me, burn that down. I think that that, that will work much, much better. So now I want to get out of the square and before I go into the next picture. So now we'll go to the next shot here. And this is called fear. Whoops, sorry. Sorry, just kind of slid right by there. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Uh, this is called fear and uh, it is by Richard. 
Um, this, I think, is a really fascinating picture. There's a lot of elements that go on. I think that Fear is a really good title for this. Um, I love the out of focus dark in the background. It's very mysterious. You don't really know what it is that's going on there. Um, your attention is really drawn into the person's face. Now, I'm not quite sure, and forgive me, but it's possible that this is a uh, um, a cross-dresser. Not quite sure. It looks a little masculine to me. I don't, it's not a, a, um, a criticism on that. It just kind of adds, I think, to the whole mystery of what's going on. The expression is great, and as I was talking earlier, we have a split light. See how half of the face is lit? So that just always adds a little bit of drama. Um, quite honestly, there isn't anything I would suggest on this picture. I think that this works just exactly as it is right now. I think it's a very strong image, it's very powerful, and it just pops right out there. So, uh, Richard, well done on this picture. I think that it's just terrific. Okay, the next picture that we have here is the Flamingo, and this is by Elizabeth Haug. I hope I said that right. Um, I love flamingos. I have to tell you first off that I am totally into birds, and flamingos I think are the funniest things in the world, and and someday I hope to have one or two on my front lawn. <laughs> anyway, I um, I love the picture. I think the simplicity of the line, the curve of the neck with just that little bit of, of uh, the leg that's in here, that, that just that diagonal line that frames, I think really adds to it. It might be very clean without it, but at the same time, I think it just gives a little bit more personality to the picture. Um, now, this was shot at uh, 6.3 at a 320th of a second. Um, I'm going to blow this up a little bit. So I want you to look at something here because my only criticism about this is that I think that it's been over sharpened. So when you look at this, when you look at this, let's come in close on this. You see we've got a halo that's going around here and you see all of this kind of like squirrely stuff. Now, that comes from over sharpening. There is a possibility that maybe Elizabeth used a filter on this, but to me, it looks more like it's just been over sharpened. I would think that at um, 6.3 and at, at a 320th, there's no camera shake, and I would think that that would be enough depth of field, but maybe the focus was a little bit off, and that's what the what the choice was here. Um, I don't really mind the squiggly in the background, but the halo does kind of bug me a little bit. Uh, but overall, I still like it. I think the color palette is great. You know, the orange of the flamingo to popping out against the green. I love the texture of what the water is back here and the reflections. You know, this little bit of blue. All of it, I think, comes together very well. So my only criticism would be just a bit of over-sharpening. Okay, one last picture here. And this is uh, a great pan by Muhammad Khan. Um... I don't know much about this. There's, there isn't really a whole lot of information that's on here. But, you know, if you have ever tried panning, you know how difficult that is. It is a, a tremendously difficult thing to do. I'm going to pull this up really close because I want you to see. I want you to see how. Um, sorry. I want you to see how how sharp that is. So as we come up to that. He did a really, really good job. Now I'm kind of getting a little bit bigger than what the resolution is here. But that sharpness is just perfect. Everything on this was done just right. It's just the right amount of pan. The, the perfect following of the horse. The movement of the jockey. Man, talk about, again, right time, right place. My criticism of this is that all of these people in the white in the foreground is distracting. Okay, it's pulling our attention away from what the truth is, which is the action that's going on here. What I said before about your eye always goes to the brightest thing in the picture. I think that that's just a little bit too bright. So I'm going to do another crop. And, you know, I don't crop everything square, but sometimes I think it works very well. So what I'm going to do here is, um, sorry, I need to get that crop back up here again. Um, I'm going to just pull down a little bit. Oh, I did it again. Sorry. I want to be able to just bring that up here. I want to have, just want to slide that picture around. Sorry, I'm just moving it. There we go. I'll move it the other way. And that looks pretty good to me right there. I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to put the subject right in the dead center of this picture. So let's go ahead and let's do a crop on that. And um, 
then let's see, can I make this a little bit bigger again so that we can see it a little bit better? Here we go. Okay, and let me get rid of that. Okay, now, it's, you can see I'm a little bit off. I probably could have done a little bit of the, uh, you know, straightening the uh, horizontal lines here. Um, but you get the general idea. You see now the the um, viewer's eye is really pulled into the action. I think that, that now that's where all the focus is. Everything is right there. You probably still could burn down this white just a little bit just so that you bring it down maybe a third or a half a stop just to take a little bit more edge off so that we're not uh, being pulled away from the action. But I think this is a very powerful shot. And I, I really have to say, you know, my hat's off to you for doing such an excellent job on the panning. That is such a tough thing to do, and you totally nailed this, Muhammad. I mean, really, just the right shutter speed, the right action, the right following. You did a great job on this. So. I think we're done here. That's it. Um, I am very happy to be a part of this, as I said, and I hope that you continue to enjoy these critiques. And uh, as Brian says, keep on shooting. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.